What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here and in today's video we will be going over the latest Madden 20 roster update. Got some very interesting names this week that are moving up. We've got other players continuing to inch closer to the 99 club. We've also got a lot of players going down. We've got a few players going down significantly. Uh, may surprise you may not so we'll get all into that if you are new to the channel however and you want to always stay up to date on the latest Madden updates and tips make sure to subscribe and definitely make sure to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of these important uploads so got the roster update today we're going to get into that in a second we did not get the title update today I thought that maybe we would get that today so possibly still tomorrow if not it's going to be next week that's usually how they roll out uh, if you want to kind of you know get up to date on what you can expect in that next title update that should be coming within a week from now at the very latest uh, I'll link below in the comments in the description I did a video yesterday so you could check that out and kind of see what's coming but let's get into this roster update today so uh, there's no official blog on the EA site as of yet uh, sometimes they put the blog sometimes they don't sometimes the blog comes a day later as of right now uh, they don't have a blog on the site, so we're just going to go through the actual ratings database itself and just cover who went up and who went down. So, uh, going up plus one. The first name on our list is Russell Wilson is up one to a 97, so he's inching close to that 99 overall club. He is in the MVP race. It's really kind of between him and uh, Lamar Jackson at this point. Those two are neck and neck. Uh, both teams have the same record. Lamar Jackson, a little bit flashier. Russell Wilson, in my opinion, working with a little bit less. Uh, so it, 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 it's a toss-up right now. I think most people would say Lamar Jackson's in the lead, but Russell Wilson is, is inching up to that 99 club, and he might just get there if he continues to play how he's playing. Uh, moving down the list, Amari Cooper finally goes up. I know Cowboys fans have been asking for this. He's plus one to a 92 overall now. Cameron Hayward of the Steelers is plus one to an 89 overall. Todd Gurley is actually finally going back up. He is plus one to an 88 overall. He started the year, I believe, at 95, was the highest rated running back in the game. And after, you know, halfway through the year, he started seeing like a bunch of declines. He went down like three weeks in a row. He finally is moving back up in that right direction to that 88. Chris Godwin, one of the breakout uh, receivers this year I believe currently number two in receiving yards he goes up plus one to an 87 overall I think he's a guy that could be in play to get some maybe some superstar abilities when they do the update as well as he's been having a really good year Derek Henry another guy I think could be in play for some superstar ability soon he is having the best year of his career by far he goes up plus one to an 87 overall Allen Robinson of the Bears is plus one to an 87 overall. Marcus Williams of the Saints having a really good year, having a Pro Bowl caliber year right now. He is plus one to an 87 overall. Jared Cook also of the Saints plus one to an 86 overall. He's finally starting to kind of break out a little bit in that offense and find his role. He's had a few solid weeks in a row. Uh, Kenny Galladay, another guy that's having a pretty good breakout year at receiver. He goes up plus one to an 86 overall. Had that big day, uh, the big Thanksgiving Day game. Deshaun Watson finally going back up as well, plus one to an 86 overall. Seems like he's going up and down a lot this year, uh, but he's now at an 86. Hopefully he could keep trending up uh, as he's having a really good year as well. Mike McGlinchey of the Niners is plus one to an 85. Shaquille Griffin plus one to an 84. Justin Reed having a pretty good year. He is plus one to an 84 as well. Same for Cortland Sutton, second year wide receiver, having uh, you know a really good season in the second year. He's plus one also to an 84. Fred Warner of the Niners is killing it this year. I believe he was just named the NFC Defensive Player of the Month. He is plus one to an 84 overall. He started the year at a 73, I want to say. So he's one of the biggest uh, movers throughout this entire year. John Brown having a good year as well, plus one to 83 overall. I believe that's two weeks in a row that he's moved up. Roquan Smith having that huge, you know, game on Thanksgiving. He's plus one to 83 overall. Darren Waller of the Raiders, plus one to 83 overall. It seems like this guy is going up every week. This is another one of the biggest movers this year. He definitely, I want to say, started the year in maybe the low 70s. Maybe high 60s, I'm not 100% sure, but he is, he's been moving up like crazy this year. Eric Armstead of the Niners. I've seen a lot of people mention his name in my comments over the last few roster updates. So he's finally moving up a little bit. He goes up plus one to an 82. Devontae Parker having that huge week 
uh, this past week. He goes up plus one to an 81 overall, kind of showing some of those flashes of the guy that, you know, everybody thought he would be when he was drafted. Uh, maybe, you know, potentially moving in that right direction now and can become that guy. Darius Geis had a really good game. He's finally healthy. You know, was hurt all last year, was hurt for most of this year. He's finally healthy, getting back on the field. Had a great game. He's plus one, two and 80 overall. I think if he could just stay healthy, he's going to be a serious problem in this league. Um, Josh Allen of the Bills goes up to a 79 overall. I believe he is plus two this week. So he's finally moving up in the right direction. The Bills continue to win. And then just one more name, a little bit lower of an overall guy, but just interesting. Uh, Taysom Hill, obviously everybody knows who Taysom Hill is. He's like the Swiss Army knife of the NFL. Had a big game on Thanksgiving. He goes up plus three, one of the biggest movers this week, only to a 62 overall. Uh, but important to note that his speed went up plus one to 90 speed, which is, I mean, that's extremely fast for a QB. I believe only Kyler Murray and Lamar Jackson are faster. So uh, especially with that new Taysom Hill package in the Saints book, there's, you know, he's, his overall is low, but he does have the speed to kind of, you know, be gimmicky. So kind of an important update there. Now let's talk about the guys going down. So I think the first guy on this list is gonna, you know, make some people mad, uh, you know, Patriots have a big fan base, and this guy himself has a big fan base. Uh, he's going up and down a couple times this year, but Tom Brady is going down once again to a 96. I believe he started the year at a 97, right? I believe. And then I think he went down to like a 96, and then he went back up to a 97, and now he's back down to a 96 again. So he's kind of fluctuating a little bit this year. Um, you know, it is what it is. He's getting a little bit older, but not really having a bad year. But he has he has some down weeks. He has some up weeks. So he kind of, his ratings just reflect that. Odell continues to go down. Odell Beckham having probably the worst year of his career. Um, not that it's really his fault. It's just that the, the coaching for the Browns is bad. The play calling is absolutely awful. And it's just kind of hard for him to really make... To, make the splash that he normally does but he's going down once again to a 91 overall I believe he started the year at a 95 I want to say so he's went down like three separate occasions over the past few weeks so you know hopefully he could get moving in the right direction again Brandon Graham is down one to an 88 overall Patrick Peterson is going down again uh, not having his best year he's getting older as, as well uh, he started the year at a 92, 93, I want to say, and this is, I want to say, his third time in the last few weeks going down. He's down 1 to 88, so it just seems like he can't get moving in that right direction lately. Matt Ryan is down 1 to 87, just didn't have a good game on Thanksgiving, a lot of turnovers, so kind of, you know, expected to see him fall a little bit. Denzel Ward of the Browns is down 1 to 87 overall. Justin Houston of the Colts is down 1 to 86. Aaron Jones of the Packers is down 2 to an 86. So a guy that for a while people were mad that he wasn't moving up. He finally moved up a little bit and then it's kind of just been stagnant since he moved up. So now he's down 2 to 86. Marshawn Lattimore actually going down. This one, not really understanding, but he's down 1 to 86. I think that the thing with Lattimore that's funny this year, he started at 87. He went down to 86 after the rough first few games, which was to be expected. But then he just went on a tear of just being absolutely locked down. And he didn't go up for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then finally, after like five to six weeks, he finally went up back to 87 where he started. And now he's going back down to 86. But I don't really feel like he's been playing bad lately. Um, he was injured. He missed a couple games, but he hasn't really played bad. So I'm not really understanding that one. Uh, Robert Woods is down one to 86. AJ Bouye is down one to 85. Jarrell Casey is down one. Or excuse me, I think these are all 86. It's not 80. No, these are all 85s. Excuse me. Um, so. AJ Bouye down 1 to 85, Jarrell Casey down 1 to 85, Juju Smith Schuster down 1 to 85, just not really been able to replicate what he did in those first two years, but he's been playing with a number of different backup QBs, so, you know, I would imagine that that has a lot to do with it, and also Antonio Brown's not there to draw that extra attention. Um, Jordan Reed is down 1 to 85, Phillip Rivers down 1 to 85 as well, he continues to struggle, Justin Coleman down 1 to 84, William Jackson the third is down 1 to 84, Patrick Chung down 1 to 83, Larry Fitzgerald down 1 to 83 as well, and Leonard Fournette going down again, down 1 to 83, it seems like he's up and down almost every week, he goes plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, it's just, he's been one of the notorious plus one minus ones all year that he just he can't get on a streak of going either up or down it's just he goes up one week and then a week or two later he's down and then a week or two later he's up so 
Uh, I'm not really sure where Dak Prescott. I know Cowboy fans don't want to see this down one to 83. Didn't have the best Thanksgiving Day game, but it wasn't the worst either. I don't know. I think he's been a pretty solid overall this year, but he's a guy that another guy that is a lot of up and down this year. Just isn't been consistently going in one direction. Uh, Will Fuller is down one to 82. Jimmy Graham is also down one to 82. Jalen Smith of the Cowboys is down two to an 82, which. You know, one of the better linebackers for the Cowboys, but he, he drops two overall points this week. Ronald Darby of the Eagles had a very rough game. Uh, you know, Devontae Parker went up for a reason. He was making some big catches on Ronald Darby. So Ronald Darby, on the other side of things, he's going down one now in 80 overall. Now, there's two really, really big, you know, fallers this week. So Mike Daniels of the Lions down five to a 78. Just not having a great year. Uh, he was a he was a he was a monster with the Packers. The Packers let him go right before the season. People weren't really sure why. Signed with the Lions. Obviously, something they saw something was going on there because he hasn't been having the best year. So he's down five this week to a 78. That's a pretty big blow. And Nick Foles, Nick Foles, finally gets back. He has a terrible game. He's benched for Minshew, so he's dropping four overall points to a 72 overall, which I think some people kind of expected that based on the performance and the fact that he's now benched for Minshew, who was playing pretty solid in his absence earlier this year. So maybe the Minshew magic is back for good now, and the Jags are probably big time regretting that contract they gave him. That is a lot of money they're on the hook for now, and it doesn't even look like he's going to be the guy you know that they signed to be so that, 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 that's a problem they got to figure out uh but it's they're, they're kind of just stuck with that one so that's it for this week in the roster update like i said we have a title update should be coming within the next week check out the video below if you want to know you know what to expect with that and as always i will see you guys next time